from the YouTube dog joints this week from the Lil Yor, and now, the man who had to do some serious, and I repeat, serious uh, trickery to get uh, Vanessa Hudgens back on track, Ellie Cuggy Mueller. Ha! Welcome to week from the update. I am Ellie Cuggy Mueller. What's up, my guy, Topper? Alright. Tonight's cause for it with us are Ace Way with his family movie and frozen movie trailers. Weekend Dojo, Joe, of course, with the screenings. We just did an excellent uh, tribute to Steven Hillenberg from SpongeBob's Garpants. And the trio of Martin Jeffrey, Romeo Fanatic, and Supercar Fanatic. That's right. They're all owned by one guy. He loves everything that has anything to do with automobiles. So, check uh, those people out. Or check those cows out. Whatever. Oh. Anyway. Let's talk. Alright, but that, oh, alright, Adam, come on, man. You got this. Oops. You know, this show was working like clockwork to me. Everything is, you know, it's all clockwork to me. Nothing is clockwork, clockwork, because this is America. Now, check this out, alright? Vanessa Hutchins is finally getting the big spotlight. You remember uh, Vanessa Hutchins, right, from uh, High School Musical, blah, blah, blah? Me? Those Disney cats are finally dried up now. Yeah. Now, Netflix is releasing the sequel of The Princess Switch now. And it can only mean one thing. Vanessa can finally uh, be able to afford to do uh, what, she couldn't do in, what she couldn't afford in the first place. Now, she went on social media recently to promote her new film. Wow. Who knew that social media can help Netflix gain an extra $95 in ad revenue? Uh, now, and you know what's uh, interesting? She now has enough money go out on a date with her boyfriend, Austin Button. You know what they uh, did recently? They went to the Volkswagen drive-in event. Now, isn't it odd? I mean, what's so uh, attractive about cars, huh? Nobody said I do it for a date. They're, 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 they're cars. Duh. That's not what uh, an article said. You know what, it's an article. Do, do, we put four, four, four other participants will be sleeping on. They will! You put four other participants will sleep on that? No, I don't know. But you know what, let's go on with the uh, topic. Alright? Topic list? Yeah. Wait, is this a topic thing about top, about top eight things people, about top eight? Stop! Top 8 things that Vanessa Bamboo needs to do in 2019, which I want to do. Which is fucking stupid. No, great. Host a talk show. All it is, it, which is fucking stupid. No, this ever make me a dip dude. But everybody does that. Number 6, make fun of Fox. Number five, because whoever made this list is fucking mentally retarded, play in the mud. Number four, because so, cause somebody thought this was funny, go to the moon. Number three, visit Mars. Number two, do a play about Jew, Jews, oh, that's mentally fucking retarded. Number one, get a pet snake. Okay, oh, we got these commercials and tonight's Friday night and then bumper. We'll be back. Sorry, we got the buffers tonight's Friday night and whatever. Wait, what? It's television sets.
40 years ago, Empire introduced a new way to buy carpet. Yes, ma'am. We bring samples right to your home and install next day. Now we're having a year-long celebration with incredible savings. Our service doesn't cost a penny extra. In fact, you'll save money. 40 to 60% off every carpet in stock with no payments till the year 2000 and a free Beanie Baby. Thank you. We'll be right out. I think folks are going to like Empire. 588-2300-4 If television sets could talk, then they would tell us the shows they like to play. They all agree for viewing the light. They'd rather be tuned to this at night. Wait, what? Every country in the world. Every country in the world. All right, we're back, folks. Welcome to This Is America. We're going to do something now. We're okay, something now. now. Now, check this out, folks. All right. You know what the Vanessa Hutchins told the uh, people about uh, the what? Princess Switch online? What? She said, I honestly don't even know where a sequel would go because we already got our happy endings. We'd have to create more conflict or maybe there will be a third win. Boost things up a little bit. I have no idea. And I'm like, really? Now, uh, take a look at this, right? The Princess Switch is about a duchess who switches places with a common baker who actually looks like her. You know, so it's kind of like the Prince and the Pauper. Yeah, you know, so it's like Prince and the Pauper, basically. You know, and they're doing that so that they could see uh, what it's like to live in one another's uh, shoes. I mean, people were, were comparing that to the parent trap, but in hindsight, they're actually comparing it to the prince and the pop. How? Because the prince was being tired of being uh, treated like royalty, and the popper was. Are you talking a uh, fucking fa uh, a fair a fairy tale? Precisely. Shut up. Okay. Don't. Don't do that fucking. Oh, this, this, this is a rip off of this. This is a rip off. Nobody cares. Jesus Christ, you're right. I'm sorry about that. He's still. I'm what? Retarded? Yes, no. Man. Now, check this out, folks, alright? You know, Adam was uh, complaining all the time that uh, this was. Uh, that we shouldn't uh, believe uh, everything we read, right? Everything we've read, right? Check this out. This is from just GarrettJr.com, right? You know, she kicks up her heels. Actually, she kicked her heels while walking the red carpet at the Volkswagen annual driving event on November 3rd in Los okay. Angeles. She was joined by her longtime boyfriend, Austin Butler. Now, I have a question for you. What? Were they uh, looking at cars or, or having a date they night? They were because it, having a fucking fun time. Really? It says here... Eli, that's fucking click, clickbait. All it's saying is she went to the Volkswagen event. That's all. Where in there do do you say evidence of day of dating? Where, huh? Hmm. Other than uh, in the title, I guess nowhere. Exactly. So it so it's a fucking lie. Okay. Hey, boom, headshot. But look at this, alright? She's celebrating her thirtieth birthday on December fourteenth, and her next movie. Second act, hits theaters uh, the following week. Okay. And? Alright. You know, it's been, uh, what, five years since Vanessa Hutchins has been uh, out of the uh, showbiz circuit? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say, Eli? I'm saying that, you know, uh, at this point, you know, uh, she's no longer relevant. No? So, why should we care? Why are you doing a fucking show if you don't care? 
the hold on. One, she was just trying to get rid of her and like he won't like fuck with her by like saying, Oh uh a guy sent you you went on a date. Folks, that's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. That's the news. I'm out. Peace. Farewell, bye, farewell.